Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Coffee Talk, brought to you by SCED and VBOSS Online. Today, we're going to be discussing different types of Facebook posts and groups that you can utilize to reach your customers. Kyle's going to go through the presentation, and we will answer any questions at the end. Go ahead, Kyle. Thank you for that intro, Amanda. Um, like she said, today we're going to be talking about Facebook post types that you can make on the platform. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how do you create a post? The easiest way to create a post is to go to your Facebook uh, business page, which in this case, you can see VBoss online. And about the center of the screen, you'll see an option for create or a prompt to simply write a post. Under create, you can see that we have the option for live, have an event, have an offer, so if you want to give a discount to somebody or buy one, get one free, you can create a job offering that you can post on Facebook. Or on write a post, you can you have the option for photo or video, get messages, uh, filling activity, and there's an ellipsis button that'll give you more options there as well. After you click on the set box for write a post, this is the basic uh, method of creating post. As you can see right under write a post, you have all these background options for your post. These are used to help it stand out more in the news feed. This is just available for text post. If you're creating a photo or a video, you will not have those options. Facebook makes it easy for you to determine what kind of post you make, and they also tailor the create a post menu for whatever you're creating. So if you click on photo or video, it'll change from write a post to upload a photo. You can also see down here at the bottom, we have the option to share it in our newsfeed or boost your post. We can also schedule our posts from this window. We'll talk about scheduling here more in just a minute. If you don't want to schedule it from here, you also have the ability to do post scheduling via the publishing tools menu, which has a hyperlink to it here. If you click on the ellipsis button, you see all these other options. So you you have the photo and the video, you have the messages, you have the filling and activity we had before, but you also have the ability to check in. So if your business is at a trade show somewhere, you can check into that trade show. Uh, you have the ability to create a poll. We, VBOSS Online uses this to determine where we're gonna hold our next classes. You can use it to support a nonprofit. So you can actually pull up a nonprofit you want to highlight and it actually creates a donate button for them create a watch party for videos, or you can create an ad straight from this screen. So this is a simple text post. You can see this explains what VBoss Online is. On the right hand side, you'll notice a little thumbtack. That thumbtack indicates that it is a pinned post. We've done that by clicking on the ellipsis button or the three dots, and clicking on the second link there that says pin to top of page. This makes it to where it shows up permanently at the top of your news feed, no matter what. SCED uses it as a way to explain what SCED is, and we also use it at BBOSS as a way to explain what BBOSS is. Um, I've seen businesses use these to highlight giveaways they're doing. So you come to their page, the first post you see by them is a giveaway that they're having at this moment. And then, menu you also have the ability to view edit history you can edit it you can delete it from the page or you can save the link to it so here are some photo posts so scan when we when we finish up a bboss online class that we teach ourselves we always post a graduation photo and then we give a link to the pr or press release that we're doing so for example here on the left you can see that this is from our electric county class to which we, we posted a photo of all the graduates and then we put read more here and put the link to it. On the right hand side, you can see this is a really awesome photo, uh, cool opportunity. This is a class in uh, Pineville that we got to do. It's in a historic bell theater. They put us up on the projection screen in there and gave us the whole theater to work out of. So that was a really cool opportunity and it's just a cool way to, to showcase that. You also, also notice that we have the hashtag scat at work here. That way, this post will show up at any time somebody searches for the hashtag scat at work. You can also do a video. So this is a webinar that VBOSS Online did. 
well, this is actually a, a intro for a webinar that DeVos Online did that is used to get people's attention. Video is one of the most popular methods of engagement on Facebook. You can see all of our all of our postings always have a description and then we have a call to action and a URL link for them to go to. So this is a poll. So this was back in early February when we were planning our next BeBoss Online Digital Marketing class. So we created a poll on our SCAD page and said, we want you to tell us where you want us to go. This is a great method of market research. We gave them two options, either Perry County, which is in southeastern Kentucky, or Brown County, which is more towards northeastern. We, let, we ran this poll for 14 days, and we were able to check it every day. You can see that this screenshot was taken in six days, and we had 16 votes cast on it. For our first poll, we believe this did pretty well. Seem to get decent engagement, so we'll probably be running more in the future. So you can also choose get messages. So if you click on the get messages option, the first thing, what it does is it automatically adds a link to send a message to your Facebook page. You can see that we, we can change their photo that shows up, and it also gives the name of the page, the username, and it starts giving the description. And so any post that we write here, text-wise, we'll, we'll have this at the bottom as an option for them to message us. You can also do a filling your activity. Facebook introduced this late 2018, early 2019, and it's slowly taken off. So if you've just received an award at your business or you, you're getting a new client or you're posting a sneak peek of something that's coming in, posting a filling might be a good idea. So you choose a filling your activity. So we, we put that we were filling and then you can see that you have your happy, blessed, loved, sad, lovely, thankful. You can do this for anything. You can do celebrating, watching, eating, drinking, attending. So if you're at a trade show, you could also post it this way. It's just an interesting way to show emotion from your business. You can also check in. So if I show BeBoss Online, our page is located in Somerset, Kentucky. So I, I chose check in. These are the first ones that showed up for us. So we could check in at the Fountain Square in downtown Somerset. We could check in for Somerset, Kentucky, the city. Um, we could check in at downtown Somerset, downtown Delhi. We could check in at the Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. These are just ways to show where we're at as an organization. And it also helps the place that you check in with because it shows up on their page as well makes it easier for both of you to find and get you more engagement. You can also support a nonprofit. So for example, I clicked on support a nonprofit and it said these are the ones it suggested to me. Australia Zoo, St. Jude's, Australian Red Cross, the American Cancer Society, all these. So if you're a business and you've decided that you're going to support a nonprofit for the month, you can post it. You can put a post out there that says, we're going to be donating $50 to the American Cancer Society. We encourage you to do the same. And it'll actually give them a link to donate to the American Cancer Society from your post. So it just makes it easier for them to do it. Again, we, we mentioned the publishing tools earlier. So if you click on Share Now under News Feed, it will allow you to change it to whatever day you want or this is the publishing tools menu. So as you can see, the publishing tools menu gives you the option to create a published post and you can schedule it for a week in the future, a month in the future. You can sit down at one day during the week. So for example, if you sit down on Sunday, you can schedule all your posts that go out during that week. It's a good way to prioritize your time on Facebook and also to create a method to where you spend one day a week creating all your posts and then it automatically does it for you. You can also schedule it straight from here. So if you click on share now, you can schedule, you can back beta post or you can save the draft. If you schedule application and you can do suggested. So Facebook actually tell you when your fans were most active in the last week. 
or you can do a custom. So for example, if you don't feel like February 23rd at 8 p.m. was a good day, you can do a custom day and you can pick any time, any date in the future. You can also backdate a post. Backdating would be helpful, for example, if you were showing when your business opened. So you could put, you know, we are now open and you could backdate it to the day that you opened in the past. And this just gives people an idea that you're actually open and they are able to visit your business. You can also create a distribution schedule to where it stops newsfeed distribution. So if you want to run an event or an offer and it's only going to be viable for 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever, um, you can click on stop newsfeed distribution and actually remove that from your newsfeed when it is created or when that time has passed. So the post is still going to be visible, but it won't show up in people's news feeds anymore. Then finally, you can click on advertise your business. We have a whole module on this about Facebook advertising, but Facebook gives you an easy and simple option to creating advertisement straight from the creative post menu. So you can get started with automated ads. They're personalized, they adjust over time automatically by Facebook to get you better results. You can also boost a post from here. You can boost an Instagram post because Facebook owns Instagram and they're pretty interconnected at this point. You can promote your page and promote your business locally. You can get more website visitors or you can get more leads. This is on top of the regular ad center that Facebook offers. Like I said, this is a simplified version of the full Facebook ads experience, but is good for quickly getting your name out there. And with that said, does anybody have any questions? So Kyle, this is a little bit of a loaded question, but I, I think that businesses will be interested in this. When they're doing posts, what's the most effective type of post they can do if they're just getting started? If you're just getting started, the most effective type of post you can do is a Facebook Live. Facebook Lives have been shown to get about eight times more engagement than any other post on the platform. After that, you have videos and then photos, then finally regular text posts are probably at the bottom of the engagement list. So what type of thing would be good to cover on a Facebook Live? So a, a good type of thing to cover on a Facebook Live depends on a business, but what we would suggest, maybe a behind the scenes tour. So if you're a new business, you do something kind of interesting that not a lot of people get the chance to do, give a behind the scenes and show them what's going or how you do it. Another option is if you decide once a week that you're a plumber out there and you want to get plumbing tips, trust us. People will not say, okay, I don't want to go to him because he just gave away his secrets. This is a good way to get your name out there. And it's a good way to show people that you're willing to help, but it also shows how tough your job is and the reason that they should contact you in the future. Another good example that Amanda wants to share is about a gentleman that was in a pool business. He'd post a daily uh, video about, you know, ask me any question you want regarding the pool industry and I'll tell you. Well, finally one day he got a question of if we don't buy from you, who should we buy from? And he decided that instead of backing down from that, he was actually going to answer it. And he made a video, posted it, and it actually got to the point to where he was showing up and search results for his competitor's business because they were looking for him instead of his competitor. That's a great story. I, I love that story. <laughs> it, uh, it, it shows how putting your information out there can really make a difference in your business. And right now with COVID-19 and, and the way we're doing business right now is a perfect opportunity for you to do a Facebook Live post and to show your business and to show what you're doing to help your customers and to help the community. So I, I highly recommend Facebook Lives. People are spending more and more time on social media right now. 
and it, it really can help you get your message out there. If we don't have any other questions, we will, as always, get this posted to our website to where you can watch it later on. If you have any questions about SCED or about BBOSS online, please reach out to myself or to Kyle. We'll have the email addresses and phone numbers where you can reach us on the screen. So if there's ever anything we can do to help you or your business, please reach out to us. Kyle, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to put this presentation together. Next week, we are going to cover local search engine optimization. So make sure you tune in for that Thursday at 10 a.m. Hope everybody has a great day.